When new doors open, new opportunities come in. I have experienced many eventful moments in my life, and I'm grateful for each and every one of them. The lessons I learned along the way truly made me who I am today. possibilities within reach. Now it's time to follow my heart. Following my heart, I find a new home. Hello! Magandang magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Ako nga po pala si Elva Ronda, ang host ninyo ngayong special event na ito, The Sparkling Launch. At hello rin po sa ating mga kapuso na nanonood ngayon live na live via Facebook. I'm sure super excited na kayong makilala pa ng lubusan ang ating young star na talaga namang ang lakas ng sparkle. What makes her sparkle? Some of you may ask. Well, ganito po kasi yon. She has already gotten to perform in stages and arenas locally and abroad. And of course, she has released a commercially successful full-length album. At hindi lang yan, she has endorsed big brands, graced the covers of the magazines, and last but not the least, she is the grand champion of the Idol Philippines. And alam nyo guys ha, kung ano ang pinakabongga dito, grabe. She hasn't even turned 20 yet. Yes, you heard it from me, right? Nagawa na po niya lahat ng yan at a very young age. Grabe, di ba? Kung hindi pa to nakakasparkle, naku, ewan ko na lang talaga. Pero seriously speaking po, ha? This is such an exciting opportunity for her and GMA Network, the number one network in the country today, is graciously opening new doors for the pop princess. And I think we can only all agree na sobrang deserve niya po talaga ito. She's young, talented, and undoubtedly a sparkle in the industry. This is also the mark of a good partnership between Cornerstone Entertainment and of course, Sparkle Artist Center. Nako, umpisa pa lang po ito ng mas marami pa pong opportunities na naghihintay para sa upcoming artist. At syempre, bigyan naman natin ng shout-out ang ating mga very special venue for today, di ba? Nanti rito po ang B Hotel Quezon City. Bakit dito po kami nag-hold ng PressCon? Because we put premium on value, di ba? Anyway, wag na po natin itong patagalin pa. Ladies and gentlemen, mga kapuso, it is my duty and honor to present to all of you the latest addition to the Sparkle GMA Artist Center's roster of talent, the one and the only this generation's pop princess, palakpakan po natin, Zephany! I 
Sparkling with joy. Kaya maraming maraming salamat po for coming today. And I hope we enjoy each other's company. So, music please. <laughs>
Finally, you found your new home. Oh, thank you, Mo. Wow. Thank you. Hello, Stephanie. Congratulations. Ang ganda ng performance mo ever since pa naman. Lalong-lalo na ngayon talagang nag-sparkle ka. Yes. Ayan, once again po, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. And sana po ay na-enjoy natin ang late lunch and early dinner pa na po. Ayan. Nag-enjoy kami, lalo na sa performance mo din, di ba? Pero I'm just curious, ano, uh, as a newly launched artist of GMA, Stephanie, ano ang nilulook forward mo with your newfound home? Sobrang dami po. Um, Unang-una sa lahat is um, to grow and to learn new things, to um, experience new things with them, with our fellow Kapuso and with GMA. At syempre po, Siguro um, yung makabuild din ng bagong mga relationships po. And new adventure. Wow! Nakaka-excite naman yan. Pero eto, Zephany, paano ka naman naghahanda ngayon for this new chapter in your career? Siguro po, ever since last year, half-half ng year last year, talagang um, hindi na po kami tumitigil na mag-prepare like workshops, Acting, singing, dancing, and even emotionally po and mentally. So talagang matindihang preparation po dahil kahit ano man pong dumating na opportunity para ano, handa tayo. Wow! <laughs> At syempre among the GMA roster naman, sino ang pinaka-excited kang makatrabaho, Stephanie? And bakit? Baka pwede mo kami bigyan ng clue. <laughs> ang dami po, syempre... Um, marami po talaga magagaling na singers and artists sa GMA at ilan po sa kanila yung mga gusto kong makatrabaho katulad ni Miss Julian San Jose, Miss Lani Miss Alucha, um, Mr. Mark Bautista and Mr. Christian Bautista. Ilan po yan sa mga singers. Ure. Pero sa mga artists naman po, syempre yung mga teen stars, And who knows? <laughs> Correct. Na excited na kami jaan. And of course, bukod sa pagkanta, makikita rin ba namin ang Stephanie na umakting sa harap ng kamera? Hmm, not impossible po. Oh! And of course, I also want to explore that field ng ng industry. So hopefully po soon. Nako, syempre aabangan namin yan, Stephanie. And of course, napakarami mong supporters, ha? Ano naman ang mensahe mo sa kanila? At hanggang ngayon, talaga naman nandiyan sila para suportahan ka, Steph. Yes, sa lahat po ng mga patuloy na sumusuporta at sa mga bago pong um, sumusuporta at sumusubaybay sa journey ko, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. I appreciate each and every one of you at talaga pong I promise na I will always do my best sa journey na to, sa bagong journey po na to, and kasama po kayo doon. Correct. Ayan. Naku, maraming maraming salamat, Stephanie, Thank for you. those wonderful words. At syempre, bago natin i-open ng floor para sa mga katanungan ng uh, members of the press na nandito po ngayon, may I now call on stage the GMA Senior Assistant Vice President for Alternative Productions, Miss Gigi S. Lara, to formally welcome Stephanie into the Kapuso family. Panakpakan po natin Miss Gigi S. Lara. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, Hi, Miss Gigi. Hello. Thank you for being here and thank you for um, gracing us with your presence. We just want to say a very warm welcome to Stephanie. Uh, sobra kaming excited na maka-work ka rin and we saw how talented you are. Um, ang husay mo, hindi lang sa pag-awit, kundi sa pag-arte. You have a very positive attitude. Napakabait na bata pala. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, totoo. Thank you. Ayun. So we're very happy, we're very excited and we wish you all the best. Um, we want um, the best for you. Um, it's a good partnership that we have with Um, cornerstone and we're looking forward to working with you for many projects in many years to come. Congratulations. Thank you po. <laughs> Thank you so much once again. Palakpakan naman po natin Miss Gigi as Lara. Thank you po. 
Ayan! At syempre, eto na nga, pinakahihintay din natin, ano? Nandi rito ngayon, binigyan tayo ng oras ng ating press friends para uh, magtanong ng uh, ilang katanungan sa'yo. And of course, upo ka muna dito, Stephanie. At uh, mag-continue ka lang na mag-sparkle dyan. Ayan. Thank you so much po. Ayan. Mama Dong, pera mo na ng flowers. Ayan. Thank you so much. Ayan. Ayan. Ang, ang ganda ng flowers. Ayan. Of course, eto na nga. Mag-umpisa na tayo sa, para sa ating question and answer portion with Stephanie. Alam ko, ready ready na ang press friends natin. Kaya without further ado, let's now call on the first press member, uh, Don Don Sermino from Abante. Ayan. Pwede pong punta po tayo dito sa ating uh, sa harap po para po makapag... Ayan. Okay po. Dito po Ayan tayo, po. Sir Don Don po. Sa may marker po okay natin. Okay na dito. Okay po. Sige Hi po. po. Seven, you welcome sa GMA. Thank Para ako may ari ng GMA. Ay, <laughs> 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 okay lang. Ano exactly yung nararamdaman mo ngayon now that um, kapuso ka na and nami-mention mo na yung kapuso? Sobrang mixed emotions po and very overwhelmed. And of course, I'm really grateful po sa opportunity na to na naibigay sa akin. This is really a blessing po na um, naibigay. At I'm really excited po sa, sa mga tatahakin kong adventures with them. So, mag-focus ka pa rin more on music pa rin? Not... Right now po, um, singing is still my focus po. But of course, I think sa pag sa pagtapa ko po sa bagong adventure na to is kasabay din po ng mga bagong bagay na maitatry ko po katulad nga ng acting and iba pa po. Ayan, and I thank you and congratulations and good luck. Thank you po, Sir Don Don. Thank you, Sir Don Don. Okay, for our next naman na member ng press, uh, please welcome uh, Salve Asis from uh, Pilipinas Star ngayon and Pangmasa. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, medyo uh, baka nag-CR pa muna siya. Okay, eto po muna ang next. Uh, Nikki Wong from Manila Standard. Ayan. Sir Nikki, yeah. Hey, Zephany. Hello po, Good Sir afternoon. Nikki. Good afternoon. You look sparkingly beautiful. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Salamat po. Well, uh, in November, when we interviewed you, sabi mo, marami kaming aabangan sa'yo. Ito bang pag uh, sign up mo with uh, JMN Sparkle? Kasama na ba yon sa niluluto ng panahon na yon? Actually, as far as I can remember po, isa na po ito sa mga bagay na... Um, parang dinediscuss na namin po on the table and mm -hmm. talagang nung time po na yon sobrang pinag-uusapan na po namin ng management ko ng Cornerstone Entertainment itong um ito pong opportunity na to mm -hmm. so yes po. so how do you describe the process was it easy uh, smooth ba yung process ng pagpirma mo sa kanila um siguro personally po mm -hmm. masasabi ko na talagang Um, hindi naman po madali din yung mga every every time na nagkakaroon po ng new transition sa buhay ko. Not just ito pong paglipat ko sa GMA, but um, every time na meron po akong um, papasuking bagong um, situation or experience, talagang nacha-challenge po ako at pinag-iisipan ko pong mabuti. But with all the guidance from my family, mm -hmm. with all the support also po from my management, um, Siguro po naging naging madali din naman po at mm -hmm. talagang exciting po. And for my last question, kanina sa VTR sabi mo by following your heart you found your new home in GMA. Now, now that you're officially in GMA, magkakaroon ba ng pagbabago in terms of your image? Kasi right now we're seeing a very sexy Stephanie. <laughs> so, does it mean ba magkakaroon ng transition o perhaps bagong image ni Zephanie na that you're with GMA? I guess um, with this new image po na nakikita niyo right now na sinasabi niyo po, um, I don't think it's just about um, yung paglipat ko po sa GMA but also ako po personally na since I just turned 19 this year, siguro po part na din po nung pag 
pag-edad ko din po yung changes ko sa sa image and sa kung paano ko po ipepresent yung sarili ko ngayon. All right. We're, we're so happy for you for this decision that you've made. And congratulations. Salamat po. Thank you so much, Sir Nikki. Ayan, Stephanie, there's co uh, questions lang from uh, Jerry Donato from Philippine Star. Eto, now that you're part of Sparkle, what can you share about your upcoming projects and career plans like giving uh, acting a try aside from singing? Um, sa mga upcoming projects po, of course, more on singing po ang center. Pero... Um, acting, yun nga po katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, hindi po imposible na mag-venture po or i-explore ko tong part ng industry na to. Since, ever since I started doing workshops po, um, na-enjoy ko and also, it was very challenging but at the same time, yun po yung nilalook forward ko minsan yung challenge eh. Parang, um, ang saya sa feeling nung na-challenge ka. So, acting is really, um, in my bucket list. Wow! wow. Ayun! <laughs> Excited na kaming makita ang self on you when yes. it comes to acting. Pero eto, may question dito from uh, Bix Buzz. Diba? Ayan, syempre, uh, si Michael Almasen. Uh, uh, ayan. God. Congrats, Zepan. Hello po, thank you. Grabe, no? Mula nung nasubaybayan ko yung career mo, di ba? Mula dun sa isa pang reality show. Pero ito nga, what made you decide to be a kapuso? Um, actually po, para sa akin, ito pong pagiging isang kapuso ay medyo malapit po sa, sa puso ko talaga. <laughs> Dahil um, sa mga hindi po nakakaalam, I think ngayon ko lang po ito share pero... Um, my first ever experience po sa industry na to, sa showbiz industry, was actually with GMA. And it was um, acting po. Ah. So, we thought it was a singing contest, so I auditioned. And turn, turned out po na teleserye pala siya na tungkol sa mga contest and mga sumasali sa mga contest na bata. At isa po ko sa mga napili doon ng mga bata na kasama nung lead roles. And... I, I can say na yun po yung talagang nakapagpa-feel sa akin na ito yung path ko na tatahakin, itong industry na to. And hindi man po ako nagsimula ng singing talaga, pero naniniwala po ako na yun po yung naging unang step para ipursue ko itong career na to. Kaya ngayon po na nandito po ako muli sa GMA and as a kapuso po na official na talaga, sobra po akong masaya na makabalik sa bahay no? sa bahay nakauwi <laughs> <laughs> pala sa bahay opo mm -hmm. pero ikaw ba ano Zepani nag-ask nag ka ba ng an mga advice dun sa mga naging uh, kas nakasama mo sa kabilang istasyon and sino um, unang mga nakaalam may sinabihan ka ba to be honest po itong um, transition po na to is talagang naging medyo ano po siya um parang personal, naging internal po siya dahil um, marami po kaming mga kinoconsider na bagay. Um, sa mga friends ko po, siguro nababanggit ko sa kanila, syempre, um, sila yung mga kaibigan ko. Uh, pagdating naman po sa pag-advise, yung management ko po, Cornerstone, ang talagang pinaka naging hands-on po dyan pagdating sa um, pakikipag-usap din po sa kanila. And how about naman dun sa, kasi di ba naging part ka dun sa bootcamp ng Now United? Kamusta na yun? Parang kakagaling mo lang dun, di ba? Tama ba? Yes po. Actually kasi yung bootcamp training po na yun was meant to be a training lang po talaga mm. para sa amin. Kaya um, if ever man po magkaroon ng, ng result yun or ng opportunity na maibigay sa aming mga bootcampers during the time, um, we'll see kung paano po mangyayari. But as of now, talagang... Um, we treated lang po that as uh, purely ano lang po, training and na naka-help po sa skills ko talaga. Okay, congrats and I love your new look. Salamat po. <laughs> Thank you, Michael of Bix Boss. Of course, eto naman, tawagin natin Chad Rosette from Manila Feed.
Hi, Seth. Congratulations. Hello, Richard. Thank you. Ayan. So, for my first question, Seth, why do you think this is the perfect time for you to transfer to a new home? Ayan. This is the perfect time po since um, I've been off the stage po siguro almost almost a year na po ever since I got back from Abu Dhabi po. Talagang namiss ko po mag-perform on stage at nung nalaman po namin na ito na may discussion na po tungkol sa pag um, transition nga po sa GMA, talagang sobra po akong na-excite dahil yung, yung feeling po na uh, ma-welcome ka ulit and also makabalik on stage, which is really what I think my purpose is po sa industry na to or let's just say sa world na, na may share po yung talent ko na binigay ni Lord sa akin and maka-inspire ng tao sa kahit na anong paraan po na maibigay sa akin. And ito po yung um, paraan or blessing na naibigay para magawa ko po yun. Kaya I think yun po, kaya perfect time po to. Ano yung unang uh, pinaka-naramdaman mo noong winelcome ka ng Kapuso Exec? Hindi po ako makapaniwala na, na yung, yung feeling na sobrang welcoming and I feel love naman po. Um, sobrang blessed po ako na may mga taong katulad nila at ng, ng mga supporters ko na nandyan always kung saan man po ako pumunta or kung ano man pong gawin kong projects. Kaya um, sobrang grateful po ako at sobra po, sobra yung pasasalamat ko po sa lahat ng mga taong nasa likod ng ng new journey na to. Ayan. So for my last question, since you will be part of All Out Sunday, ano yung dream mo na performance sa All Out Sunday? At sino yung gusto mo makasama? Wow. Um, dream prod. Yung mga nabanggit ko po na singers kanina, sila po yung sigurong gusto ko makasama sa prods. Katulad nga nila, Miss Julie Ann, sila Miss Lani, and uh, meron pa si Miss Acel. Um, isa din po sa mga parang prods na napapanood ko rin po sa AOS is yung Queendom. Kaya po, uh, sana mabigyan po ako ng chance na makapag-perform kasama sila on stage. At yun po. Thank you, Stephanie. And, ay, Thank Stephanie, you. and congratulations. <laughs> Salamat po. Thank you, Chad of Manila Feed. Ngayon, tawagin naman natin John Bueno from Kumagkao. Hi, Stephanie. Hello, Sir um, Congratulations, first of all. Um, I just have two questions. Uh, one is, what was your dream when you were just starting? And has your dream changed now that you're in Sparkle and CS also? Um, my dream when I was still starting po is really to be able to share my talent and to inspire people through my music. And I think hindi po siya magbabago kasi ever since I was a kid, yun na po talagang ginagawa ko, yung kumanta at um, i-share yun sa mga tao. At gamitin yun to also um, let them know na, na walang imposible sa mga, na maabot yung pangarap natin. At ngayon po na nasa Sparkle na ako and with GMA, hindi po yun nagbabago dahil yun din po isa sa mga reasons kung bakit ko, kung bakit din po ako nandito. Um, what was the reaction of your family when they learned about this move that you're doing? Of course, um, just like me po, they were so happy and mm -hmm. excited kasi po, um, syempre as a family, alam po namin kung ano yung, yung nararamdaman ng isa't isa and uh, open po yung mga feelings na ng sadness or ng excitement, ng joy. At nung nalaman po nila yon na ma may transition na mangyayari, syempre na-excite sila. And lagi naman po sila nandiyan to support me in everything I do. Um, is there like a plan for your international career? So far, right now po, um, we're really focused ngayon po sa, sa bagong um, journey po na to. Mm -hmm. But of course, isa po yan sa mga goal, goals namin, yung international stage ulit or international exposure um, with, with 
GMA. All right. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Sir John Bueno. And of course, eto tawagin naman natin uh, MJ De Leon from Glitz. Hello. Hello. Good po. afternoon. Gracias. Sabi nga kanina, we really love your look today. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> the first question though is, now that, you know, we're in a sparkling launch, um, sa young career mo so far, when do you think you sparkled the most? And then the second part of that is now that you're with GMA and then medyo may wish list ka, and if that will be given to you, what project would that be where you think you were sparkle the most? Okay, may haba po yung question pala na yun. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, sorry, can you repeat po the first yung part first of the part question? Yung first part, sa career mo so far, when do you think you sparkled the most? Like, natapos na na projects na nagawa mo. And then, ngayon na nasa GMA7 ka, bibigyan ka nila ng wishlist. Kunwari, what kind of project or campaign or a show would that be na sa tingin mo, magsasparkle ka the most? Okay. Okay. Um, so, I think po, so far, yung mga nagawa ko or na-achieve ko po sa career na to, um, where I think I sparkled the most was when I went to Abu Dhabi, for Now United Bootcamp. Kasi una po, yun po yung first uh, international na experience ko din na um, after po nung manalo ako sa Idol Philippines. And I think yung um, opportunity po and yung honor ba na madala ko yung bansa din po natin kasi I represented Philippines po doon is really um, a big thing for me. And I hope I was able to to show yung ating culture and yung yung talents na na sino showcase ng Pilipinas and as a Filipina singer po. So ayun po. Ngayon naman po if may wish list nga. Ang hirap po kasi um, for me nasa sa akin din po yun na kung talagang maibibigay ko po yung best ko sa opportunity or project na may bibigay nila sa akin. Right now, um, since focus ko po is singing, siguro um, to be able to collaborate with all the uh, singers po na dream kong makasama, I think um, kahit pa paano po ma ma masasabi ko na magsasparkle pa rin dahil <laughs> I don't know how to explain it po ng sobra, pero any any project po na may bibigay sa akin, I would be so grateful at tatanggapin ko po ng buong buo. And I will do my best para mag-sparkle. Ayan, thank you. We're looking forward to the next projects. Um, second question, fun question lang. Kasi being in the music industry, yung dominating sound right now is K-pop, yeah. P-pop. Do you think that's a genre where you can find yourself, like, you know, express good music? Um, I think... Wala po masama if ma-explore yung mga iba't ibang genre ng music. And of course, I'm also open po na itry yung mga bago na, na genre. Lalo na po ngayon na parang nag-transition din po yung image and yung, um, yung um, like style ko sa music. So, uh, yeah, not impossible po. Okay, thank you and congratulations. Thank you po. Thank you, MJ De Leon. Of course, eto naman. Let's now call on uh, Miss Kate Adahar from Random Republica. Hey, Miss Kate. Thank you. Um, congratulations, Zephanie. Thank um, we've you We've seen your journey no, from The Voice to Idol Philippines. Ngayon, nakikita namin a more confident Zeph. Um, what do you think contributed to that um, confidence? Ganyan. Um... I think kasabay na din po yun nung pag-turn pag ko ng 19 this year na mahirap po din para sa akin na yung maging sobrang confident kasi mahiyain naman po talaga ako. But of course, sa industry po na to, kailangan mo talaga ma-develop yung, yung personality mo. And kung wala ka rin confidence, enough confidence po, I think hindi rin po ako magiging able to, to showcase what I have. So... Um, part din po nito yung mga tao na nasa paligid ko, kung paano sila sumusuporta at kung paano nila ako 
minamotivate and ini-inspire na maging kung sino po ako ngayon. Kaya napakalaking bagay po na isurround yung sarili mo ng mga taong alam mong makakabuti para sa'yo. Thank you. And last na, if you can express your feelings right now through a song, ano yun? And pw pwede ba namin marinig kahit a few lines? Actually, the, the two songs po na I just sang, yun po yung mga kanta talaga na nagde-describe ng feeling and ng, ng parang na-experience ko po right now. This is my now kasi um, eto na po yung uh, another start or a new beginning, a new chapter, a new journey for me na na talagang nag-take kami ng risk and also yung faith nandito din po. At home kasi it's a new home and a home is where you also feel loved po and inspired and that's what I'm feeling right now. Kaya this is why now and home. <laughs> thank you and congratulations. Thank you po. Again. Wow. Thank you so much, Miss Kate. Ang ganda ng sinabi mo. <laughs> oh. Thank and of you, course, Ate. eto na. Hindi na natin to patatagalin pa para sa lahat po ng mga press uh, members po natin. You may now uh, take a photo rin na uh, oh. kay Stephanie po. Ayan. At syempre, ang ating official photographer ngayon. Ayan. Bigyan natin ng chance din na mag-post-post si Stephanie. Of course. Pwede rin po kayong mag-take a shot. Ayan. Music muna tayo. Ayan. Aba nagpi-picture picture si Stephanie. couple of minutes, like mga one to two minutes, ganyan. Sige po, lahat po ng angle po, yeah. Take a shot nyo na po. Wow, ganda ni Stephanie. Kapuso. Congratulations, Stephanie. Dito daw sa site ng Random Republica. And kaya, Chad and Bix. Of course, our official photographer. Ato nandiri to from Cornerstone. Ayan. At sure, magpapa picture din ako ng bare bareness ni Stephanie. Ayaw mo na mga maraming salamat, guys. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Official na po talaga. Isa ng ganap na kapuso ang po. Princess na si Stephanie. Palakpakan naman po natin. Ayan. We really can't wait, Stephanie, to see what this partnership of Cornerstone Entertainment and Sparkle Artist Center holds in the future. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa GMA Network. Of course, thank you then sa Cornerstone Entertainment at sa B Hotel Quezon City for uh, being our gracious host. Palakpakan naman po natin and guys and syempre we would like to give thanks to Aki and Marge Salon of course Secret Sense for your continued support and to all the press who are present here uh, at the B Hotel thank you so much po we would like to also acknowledge GMA Senior Assistant Vice President for Alternative Productions Miss Gigi S. Lara Mr. Vic Del Rosario Senior Talent Manager and of course Cornerstone Entertainment headed by its president Mr. Erickson Raymundo. This has been Eva Ronda. Maraming maraming salamat once again and congratulations again Stephanie. Deserve mo talaga to ano yung uh, lahat ng support eh talagang uh, nandiyan para sa iyo and uh, today is a sparkling day not only for Stephanie of course but for all or Kapuso. Marami marami salamat. Ingat po kayo. And of course. And of course, message from Safania. Yes, um again, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Uh, personally, I also want to say thank you to my uh, to Cornerstone Entertainment 
sa GMA po, um, sorry, Cornerstone Entertainment sa aming boss, si, uh, Mr. Erickson Raimundo, Mr. Jeffrey Vadillo, um, Miss Cynthia Roque, at of course sa GMA po, Miss Gigi S. Lara and Mr. Vic Del Rosario. Salamat po ng marami. At syempre, um, sa ating mga sponsors, B Hotel, thank you so much for accommodating us. Aki and Marge, sa bago ko pong look, sa bagong hair. Um, and Secret Sense. At sa inyo pong lahat, sa lahat po nang dumalo ngayon, maraming maraming salamat po to all of my supporters. At sa mga kapuso, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. I love you all and God bless everyone. Thank you po. Again, palakpakan naman natin, Zephany! Wow, sa GMA! <laughs> Ayan. Thank you, Zephany! Salamat po. Maraming salamat po sa lahat po ng mga pumunta po dito. Thank you so much po. open, new opportunities come in. I have experienced many eventful moments in my life, and I'm grateful for each and every one of them. The lessons I learned along the way truly made me who I am today. With endless possibilities within reach, now it's time to follow my heart. Following my heart, I find a new home.